Now we are showing velocity and time graph occupied area with x axis equal to displacement. Now I am taking time along x axis and the velocity along y axis. Now I am taking one body moving with the uniform velocity. If it is moving with uniform velocity, initial velocity OA also V and the final velocity also V. So this point I am taking as C. So B C also V. Initial velocity O A also V, final velocity B C also V. What is the duration T? So here A V is the velocity time curve. So initially some velocity. After some duration, same velocity. After some duration, same. So that is called uniform velocity. Now here what created? One rectangle created. So what is the area of the rectangle? L into B. So area. Area of O A B C. So it is one rectangle. So what we are taking? If this is V, this also V because uniform velocity. If this is the time, this is the time duration. So V into T. That gives the velocity time curve occupied area with x axis. One body moving with uniform velocity. At the time, what is the form of a displacement? So displacement equals to if it is moving with uniform velocity, velocity into time. So that is the displacement. Right hand side equal, so automatically left hand side also equal. So, velocity time graph occupied area with x axis that is OA BC area equals to displacement. So, displacement equals to area of OA BC rectangle. So, now we add code velocity time curve occupying area with x axis is equal to displacement. So, this is our derivation.